Sean? So Sean, um, knowing their run game's coming right downhill at you guys a lot, what, what was the key defensively to try to contain it? Uh, I can't remember his name. Um, I think Robinson, number five. Uh, so we knew we got hurt, and um, we knew we were, uh, were going to be able to contain the other backs and stuff. Uh, so we, our game plan coming in, uh, we're going to give up the run a little bit more and then uh, uh, drop more eight so uh, to protect the pass because uh, we know they had good receivers like number eight and um, a bunch of number 15 and everything. So, uh, so going, going into our, for our game plan, uh, we gave the run up a little bit. So. To adjust to that a little bit, knowing that, hey, because of our personnel limitations and what we got to do, we've got to give something up that they're pretty good at. You know, is it tough to say, okay, uh, you know, we've just got to be patient here and keep them in front? Yeah, so the biggest thing is just um, – because they, they'll probably, they're, they're going to break runs, they're going to make plays, just be able to like tackle them, rally and pursue to the ball. So like we can't, we can't always stop that, uh, that run. So as long as we have 11 hats to the ball, we'll be, uh, we're going to be able to stop them. So. Walk me through the interception. What, what were they trying to do? What did you see? When did you know you could get to it? So we were in like a cover two zone and um, I think it was three by one and um, as soon as the ball snapped, uh, they were trying to, I knew they, they were trying to probably go for the first down, probably not uh, try to take a shot. And I was just reading the quarterback in my zone. And um, he, yes, I just uh, saw his eyes. He threw the ball like towards the middle and I broke on the ball. So I was able to take it. And then um, I was mad I couldn't score, but uh, at least I held on to the ball and I was able to run after. So. I mean, that run back ended up being pretty significant. Yeah. Uh, I was. I had like I had my sights on the end zone, but no, uh, I seen like everybody pursuing, so I was like, let me go ahead and get down, so I don't get blindsided. <laughs> Just the emotions in the locker room, at, you know, for you, senior day, finishing with a win over Texas. What what are your emotions? What are the team emotions? I uh, just happy, excited. Um, something to remember for, uh, you know, especially like being this my last game is something I, I'll always remember and everything. And um. Uh, just, it just means a lot just seeing everybody's emotion, like happy and everything. And it, it meant a lot to the program and a lot to the t uh, my teammates and everything. So, Coach Brown said it was a wise decision for you to come back. How, how close were you to not coming back and, and ultimately why? And now, after this, what are your thoughts? Uh, you probably feel it's the right decision. Yeah. Uh, uh, I think going back, um, uh, when I think COVID first started, um, I didn't. We didn't think like we're gonna have like extra season and stuff. So um, just being able to have an extra season after the COVID year, um, you no, know, I, I think it was a smart decision because I talked with my parents and everything, and um, I mean, it all worked out and everything because um, I was able to finish uh, my MBA and um, uh, uh, be able to start my PhD. I haven't started yet, but maybe in the future. And then um, I just. I feel like everything happens for a reason, and um, I couldn't miss out, miss out on the opportunity to come back. So. Hey, anything else for Sean? All right, thank you very much.